Well, perhaps the next thing to consider is to indicate um, a, a typical uh, placement of an RV vehicle. So I've put that on a on a layer uh, called parked vehicle, and uh, I've used the solid fill to hatch that little area in. Uh, we've got some allotment numbers, which you can now see are appearing when we turn the layer off, and uh, we've put some trees into uh, they're just simple trees with a little uh, a symbol and a little bit of shadowing um, i'll move this across there's a more slightly more complex symbol over here which we can copy just so that you can see what's happening i'll put it in the middle of this block here and you can see it's just a, a green outline with a, a shadowing around it so uh, things are coming along reasonably well the only Comp slightly complex issue left to deal with is if we move down here you can see that the hand drafter has indicated a split rail fence running through here so if we turn on the layer and I'll turn off the scan layer for the moment you can see that a line has been drawn through here and if I click on that line can you see it's in a particular style of a particular line style which we call GCAD fence and it puts the X in the middle of the line so if I in fact if I set that as the current line type style and just draw a line um, you can see it is I'm on the logo layer at the moment which is why it appears green um, you can see that it just draws any line um, with a little cross in the middle so I've been able to put that line running all the way uh, around through there. So I hope you can see now that things are t starting to take shape reasonably well. The, the drawing is all but finished apart from a few uh, pieces of text that you might want to put alongside the RV vehicle park area as a, a typical example. And, and we're nearly ready to present this drawing on uh, on a piece of paper.